Hello everyone, this is Dan with Syntex Technologies and today we're going to do a quick install video on how to get MySQL Workbench downloaded and installed in your Windows based system. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our browser. And now once we're here we want to go ahead and search for MySQL Workbench. Now we've navigated here, we see that we have a download MySQL Workbench option. We want to go ahead and select this one. And now we're on the download page for MySQL Workbench. Uh, but first things first, for MySQL Workbench, we need a few dependencies, and we can find those here within the Product Information tab. We scroll down just a little bit, and we can see here we have a few different options for Visual Studio Code. Uh, but if you look closer, this one's for Korean, this one's for traditional Chinese, this one's for Japanese. So for our purpose, an English-based course, we need this option here. So we're gonna click this link and be navigated to the Visual Studio's download page. And here we are. And we want to go ahead and select the 64-bit option and click download. Now, depending upon your browser options, you may see your downloads pop up here. Uh, if not, you can go ahead and find them here in this download folder. And here it is. Now, for the purpose of this video, we already went ahead and installed the Visual Studio Code. Uh, why we did that is because when you install Visual Studio's code, it's going to ask you to restart your computer once the installation is complete. Um, if you already have Visual Studio Code downloaded on your system, when you go ahead and select here, it'll ask you to uninstall. Now we know we have it and we can move on. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate back to the MySQL Workbench download page. And now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and click that product information tab again. And then we're going to go to the other dependency we need. Uh, right here, it's Microsoft.NET Framework. Uh, in most time with the Windows 10 system, it may already be available within your system. But just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and download that. Now we navigate here. And then we can go ahead and download. Uh, obviously, here we chose English. Okay, now that we've been downloaded right here, we're gonna go ahead and click this. And now if you already have it installed, uh, once you click this option. Okay, now we're here. You'll see here that it says you do not need to install the Net Framework here. Um, if you did need to install it, it would allow you to continue from here. So um, for our purposes, we don't need to go any further. Um, but if you guys do need to, again, go ahead and click continue and follow the instructions. Now we can go ahead and navigate back to MySQL Workbench download page. And then we can go ahead and just scroll a little bit down right here and select the download options. Um, and great enough, it already has the 64-bit option um, available right here. Now, you'll see this come up. You can either log in with Oracle account or sign up. Uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can just go ahead and see uh, no thanks. Just start my download. Now we click that option. We can see here that it is downloading. Just one more second. All right, so we go ahead and uh, have it downloaded. So now we're gonna go ahead and install. We're gonna click it. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna follow the instructions here. We're gonna select next. Uh, right here is the path of where we'll find our MySQL Workbench. Um, if you guys wanna customize that and select a custom path, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, but for most people, the defaulted path works just fine. Now, for here, if we want to go ahead and completely custom set up our workbench here, we can do so, but um, if you don't have anything specific you're trying to do, the complete version is more than adequate. So we went ahead and uh, selected next. Now we're just looking over here. Um, this is kind of a, a summary uh, that we have our setup type. We chose complete instead of custom. And then we have our destination folder right here as well, which was the defaulted from MySQL Workbench. So now I'm okay with those options. I'm gonna go ahead and select install. And we're gonna go ahead and select yes here with the user account control. That's gonna go ahead and ask you to make those changes. We're gonna select yes.
and we're moving along here. All right, we're finished. So we can click this checkbox or unclick it. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to keep it clicked, and it's going to launch the MySQL Workbench now. We're going to select Finish. And here we go. We now have MySQL Workbench UI on our desktop system or our Windows based system. Sorry, not desktop. Thank you very much, guys. And follow these slides that will be with this video for further steps. Thanks.